Number 10, Haley and Justin. Rumors have circulated Justin and Haley Bieber basically their whole relationship. With the recent drama involving Justin's ex Selena, it has only fueled fans' opinions on the couple. Some fans believe the two are actually both quite toxic in their own way. But does that make them a perfect match or absolutely not? Haley has been known to be a mean girl in the public eye ever since the whole drama with Selena and her eyebrows. Since this, other people have come forward to share their stories of the less than great interactions with the model. She has also been considered to to have been both a Selena and Justin super fan back in the day. Not only this, but many social media users are convinced that Haley can't help but copy nearly everything Selena does. I'm sure this has to put a strain on their relationship. But what about Justin? In a recent video that has been circulating social media, it shows Justin basically embarrassing Haley in front of paparazzi and fans. The couple were headed out to lunch at a cafe in West Hollywood when he looked to forget his wife in the car. He gets out of the car and basically slams the door in her face and then walks the wrong way. Haley then gets out looking not too happy and appearing to tell him that the restaurant is the other way. The whole thing is quite awkward on both parts, I have to say. One fan debunked the theory that it was a mistake, saying, even if he thought she was coming out the other side, which wouldn't make sense since it's facing the road with cars, he could have still waited and went in with her. A few others wondered if this could just be a fight that the paparazzi caught on camera, but either way, it definitely looks like there may be something more going on. Not only that, but Justin ditched his wife in another viral clip. Justin is seen to be escorted to an opening in a barrier, where he was surrounded by paparazzi, and then he leaves his wife completely in the dust and skateboards down the street. Haley then goes to the opening, trips, and then chases after him down the street. This is definitely a moment that looks bad on Justin. One TikTok user commented on the video saying, he doesn't want you, he's running away from the paparazzi and you. With all this, there has to be even more speculation that Haley was actually just a rebound this whole time as a way for Justin to get over Selena. But what do you guys think about these two? Are we just seen all the bad parts, or is that all there actually is? Number 9, Ben and JLo. The couple that has only been married for a year is already looking to be on the rocks, and that's Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez. When they first got together, an insider revealed that Jennifer was walking on air, but now it appears she's come down to reality, as multiple sources have claimed the honeymoon phase has worn off since settling into their home life in LA. While both working on busy careers and the stress of blending their two families, could it just be all a little bit too much? A source tells the press, they're back to the grind of working and parenting, and reality has set in. The same source also explains that only recently, Ben stormed out of the house following a very intense fight. Allegedly, the couple have been arguing non-stop since the wedding. A second source says, before the wedding, Jennifer put on an Oscar-worthy performance for Ben, pretending to be perfect, easygoing wife-to-be, claiming Ben was blinded by love and just didn't really know what he was getting himself into. The two have been spotted at events and have looked to be fighting in various clips, such as the Grammy and even more recently at the Mother premiere. Not only this, but it has been reported that Jen's controlling personality could be the roots of arguments between the stars. An insider claims that Ben's smoking habit is a big deal for Jen, as it's one of his long-standing habits. They revealed, he promised to give it up, but with all her nagging, he's smoking more than ever. Besides his most likely very annoying smoking habit, the source also reveals Ben may have a bit of a cleanliness problem as well, sharing, Ben doesn't clean up after himself, which irritates Jennifer. The source also discusses is the way JLo goes about nagging her husband, saying, she's been known to yell at him and point her finger. It makes people wonder if she mistakes him for a dog. Not only this, but Jen really threw Ben under the bus when she suggested in an interview that Ben had no idea how to dress himself. She recalled a conversation with him and said, I did kind of like say you need to be, you know, you're a movie star. You should wear a suit. You should do this with your hair. Going on to say, he didn't do anything he didn't want to do. He had some good fashion moments when he was with me. With these two appearing to be polar opposite, Opposites, time will only tell if they're going to make it through the year. Number 8, Camila and Sean. A couple that some loved and others weren't so sure about is Camila Cabello and Sean Mendes. The two split up in 2021 and put out a statement on Instagram at the time. The post read, Hey guys, we've decided to end our romantic relationship, but our love for one another as humans is stronger than ever. But it seems they might have changed their mind and reconnected at this year's Coachella weekend. A fan ended up capturing a moment that looked as though the couple had reconciled. In a now viral clip, it shows the couple dancing, holding drinks, hugging, and even appearing 
appearing to kiss each other, looking like they were together most of the night. An eyewitness told the media they weren't holding hands but did stay together all night. They were at the VIP table trying to stay out of sight. Another insider revealed Sean had his arm around her waist as they walked to the stage. Camila was nuzzling her face into Sean's shoulders and they looked like a couple. They also kissed and were making out. But it's looking like they don't want to make things official just yet. With a source saying Sean and Camila aren't officially back together but are enjoying each other's company and seeing where things go. Regardless, it's hard to say if this one will really work out the second time around. While some fans are into it and would love to see these two last, others believe it's just the beginning of the end. One Twitter user commented on the clip of them at Coachella saying, get away from her now. Another added by simply saying, jump scare. Number seven, Bad Bunny and Kendall Jenner. A couple that not many saw coming is Bad Bunny and Kendall Jenner. A source talked to the press about the new couple and said, they are definitely very cute together. Kendall is happy and he's a fun guy. She likes his vibe. Going on to say, it was a slow start, but they spend almost every day together now. But after some fans saw her dancing at Bad Bunny's music at Coachella, suspicions began to grow about how long these two will really last. Kendall was seen dancing in the crowd during his set. Unfortunately for Kendall though, she was spotted by multiple fans who filmed her dancing and now viral clips on TikTok. One user wrote referring to Bad Bunny's ex, Gabriella, no way she was dancing like that, girl, bye. No way he's with that. Gabriella needs to come back. Another added, please, how are you his girlfriend and you can't even keep up with his music? A few other Bad Bunny fans have made videos asking for Gabriella to come get her man, believing that this may only be a marketing scheme. Number six, Taylor and Maddie. A rumored couple that has been hitting the news recently is Maddie Healy and Taylor Swift, and fans have mixed reactions. A source told the press, Taylor and Maddie like each other. Taylor has a crush on Maddie and they are having a good time hanging out. Supposed confirmation of this comes after a video emerged of Taylor and Maddie saying, this one is about you, you know who you are, I love you, on stage during their concerts. Taylor, as we know, has a massive fan base and it seems like they're pretty unhappy about this development. As more and more clips are posted to TikTok, fans are sharing their opinions. One user wrote, she's happy, but we aren't. Another added, Joe was a grown up relationship. Maddie is a midlife crisis. Though this is still new and not yet totally confirmed by Taylor, many fans think it won't last and some are just hoping that it won't. Number five, Selena and Zayn. Another relationship that is yet to be confirmed is Zayn Malik and Selena Gomez. Selena was reportedly seen on a dinner date with Zayn. A TikTok user posted a now viral video claiming that a friend of hers who works at a restaurant saw the two getting pretty comfy over dinner. These claims have only been strengthened after an insider shared that they spotted the two holding hands and kissing as they entered the restaurant. The eyewitness told Entertainment Tonight, Selena and Zayn went out in Soho in New York City last night at around 10 30. They walked in holding hands and kissing. She continued by saying, most restaurant staff and restaurant goers didn't notice them. It seemed like they were very comfortable together and it was clear that it was a date. But this one might not even really get a chance to take off. Not long after the speculation of her and Zane was circulating, she posted on Instagram that she likes to be alone too much. This has left a few people to believe that they aren't actually as romantically involved as some fans would like to believe. But looks like for this one as well, time will only tell. Number four, Kylie Jenner and Tim Timothy Chalamet. This one was making headlines everywhere with fans believing that Timothy Chalamet and Kylie Jenner are from different universes. But whether you want to believe this one or not, it looks like these two really could be dating, according to multiple sources. An insider revealed they are keeping things casual at this point, it's not serious. But Kylie is enjoying hanging out with Timothy and seeing where this goes. They continued by sharing, it's really been fun for her because it feels a lot different than her past relationships. It's new and exciting for Kylie and she's having a lot of fun. Fans were ready to see a hard launch of the couple during this year's Coachella weekend, but it didn't seem to come. A source close to the star explained, Kylie decided she didn't want to make things public with Timothy this past weekend at Coachella, and really just wanted to chill and have fun with her friends. But fans weren't too excited about this news, and instead just seemed confused. Many took to Instagram to share their opinions on the rumored new couple. One Twitter user wrote, Timothy, this is not you. You're better than this king. Another added by saying, when the nerd dates the popular girl. But a source has recently said, that something that sparked rumors that Kylie was with her ex, Travis, and they aren't really done for good. The source said, Kylie's friends genuinely don't believe that her and Travis are done for good. They always had an on-again, off-again relationship. Going on to say, they truly feel like the love is still there and that they will find their way back to each other again. Number three, Tyga and Avril. Tyga and Avril Lavigne have had a pretty messy start, from her leaving her fiance, Maud's son, pretty abruptly for him. At the end of February, Avril seemingly called off her engagement to Maud Sun, and that was reportedly a surprise to him. Maud Sun's representative said at the time, they were together and engaged as of three days ago, when
when Maude left for tour, so if anything has changed, that's news to him. Just a couple days before this statement went out, photos and clips began emerging of Taiga and Avril seen leaving the restaurant Nobu together in LA. Another insider tried to do some damage control, assuring fans that Taiga had nothing to do with calling off the wedding. They said at the time, Avril and Taiga are generally friends and nothing more. There was absolutely no third party involved in the split. But the truth behind that seemed pretty questionable after they were seen getting pretty close. Just over a week later, Maude revealed how heartbroken he was feeling. He wrote on Instagram, In one week, my entire life completely changed. I just know there's a plan for it all. I'll keep my head up and always listen to my heart, even when it feels broken. But as shocking as this was for fans, it looks like Avril and Tyga are pretty happy together. Since this, the couple has been seen on multiple outings, and while it does look pretty solid, some fans are worried it could end the same way it did for Maude, which is suddenly. A Twitter user wrote, I'm a hardcore Avril fan, but I doubt they will last. Another added, very strange couple. Number two, Adam and Bahati. Adam had a cheating scandal that went pretty viral pretty quickly. Adam had been married since 2014 when the whole situation really blew up. It started when the Instagram model came forward to claim that she had an affair with the singer. It got pretty bad for the star when his Instagram DMs leaked and became a meme all across Twitter. With one of the messages being, it's truly unreal how effing hot you are, like it blows my mind. In a clip that was posted to Instagram, the model said, I was having an affair with a man who was married to a Victoria's Secret model. At the time I was young, I was naive, and quite frankly, I felt exploited. The Instagram model went on to claim that they had a physical relationship, but at the time of her post, they hadn't spoken in a month. She explained to her fans that the reason for coming forward now was because a few of her friends had tried to sell the story to a tabloid. Adam and his wife have since had a third child together just this year, but how does she feel about all this? Adam has come out with a public apology as well as claiming that it was never physical, but it's still not a good look. For now, it looks like the two are together, but it has fans speculating that if he did it once, who's to say he won't do it again? And will they be able to make it through another cheating scandal? And at number one, we have Pete and Chase. Dating rumors started surrounding Pete Davidson and Chase Wonders earlier this year. The two were spotted holding hands at Universal Studios in Hollywood, as well as being seen kissing. Photos emerged later in January of the couple in Hawaii as well. A source shared to the press, Pete and Chase have been hanging out and having fun, but they did also add, it doesn't seem like a long-term thing though. And maybe that's a good thing, considering many fans believe that Pete is actually gonna get back together with Kim Kardashian sometime in the future. Kim and Pete were seen spotted talking at the Met Gala, and it really got people talking. They looked to be having a pretty lively conversation, judging by the photos. Though some fans were convinced that the pair are just friends, others are saying that the 2022 vibes are real. Reportedly, the two have a lot of love and respect for each other, so maybe once they have more time in their busy schedule, something could come of this again, which would be unfortunate for Chase. Number 10, Harry Styles and Kendall Jenner. The 2010s romance between Kendall Jenner and Harry Styles was a moment. They were linked multiple times between 2013 and 2019 and had an on and off relationship for such a long time. They first dated for a couple of months from the end of 2013 into the beginning of the following year, but the romance didn't last. Then in December of 2015, the rumor mill was teeming with reports that they rekindled their relationship after they were spotted holidaying together on a yacht. But the dating claims soon settled down again. In a 27 interview with Rolling Stone, Harry spoke about a recent ex-girlfriend that's widely assumed to be Kendall. He said, she's a huge part of the album. Sometimes you want to tip the hat and sometimes you just want to give them the whole cap and hope that they know it's just for them. But fans were never too happy with this pairing. Even after their relationship rumors fizzled out, Harry's fan base was upset that the two of them remained close friends. On Twitter, people wrote things like, Kendall is a bad person, so we're allowed to be disappointed that Harry is friends with her. But regardless of how everyone feels about it, the two of them had stayed very close over the years, and it seems like they still have a special kind of chemistry. Number 9, Miley Cyrus and Cody Simpson. Despite all of their loved up Instagram posts, fans were never 100% on board with this relationship. After divorcing Liam Hemsworth, Miley seemed to move straight on to Cody in October of 2019. But the relationship seemed more like a rebound than anything else, partly because Miley was still throwing shade at Liam the whole time, and it was obvious that she wasn't over him. At one point, she went on Instagram Live and started gushing over her new man, all to her millions of followers. She said she thought she had to be gay because she felt that all guys were evil before she met Cody. Miley then points to him and says, there are good men out there guys, don't give up. She then slips in the fact that she only ever dated women because she had been turned off by men, which of course was a little problematic. She said, you don't have to be gay, there are good people with D's out there, you just gotta find them. You've got to find a D that's not a D, you know what I mean? Although that last part was a little 
weird, she very clearly made her point by uplifting Cody and not so subtly dissing all the men she's ever been with before. But we know she was mostly just talking about Liam. Number eight, Amy Roback and TJ Holmes. Last year, the two anchors of Good Morning America became embroiled in a crazy cheating scandal. Intense speculation had been swirling around the nature of their off-screen relationship after damning evidence of a workplace affair surfaced on social media. According to an explosive six-page report, Holmes and Roback started secretly seeing each other in March, which is around the same time that they started training together for the New York City Half Marathon. Shocking photos that surfaced online of the pair showed them walking around upstate New York looking very close, and at one point even holding hands. Another set of photos taken in the weeks before Thanksgiving exposes that they went on a secret getaway to a remote cottage, and pictures were snapped of Holmes grabbing Roback's butt as she leaned into the trunk of a car. So at a certain point in their months-long affair, they let their guard down and got photographed cheating in broad daylight. According to an inside source, their chemistry had been on display in the newsroom for quite a while, and there were rumors that they were having an affair about a year before the news came out. So it was likely just a badly kept secret for quite some time. Number seven, Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes. Both fans and fellow celebrities were left scratching their heads, wondering what could have drawn these two together. From Tom's cringeworthy couch jumping antics on the Oprah Winfrey show, to Katie's revelation that she had a crush on him as a little girl, it was always kind of an icky pairing, which only gets weirder when you think about the 16 year age gap between them. After a whirlwind romance, the couple got married in a luxurious Italian wedding ceremony and welcomed their first child together, Suri Cruz. But there were many signs that they weren't right for each other. In their five years of marriage, Katie went from a bubbly TV star to a quiet and passive person alongside her megastar partner. They announced their divorce in 2012, which came as a shock to everyone. The major reason was allegedly Katie's aversion to raising their daughter in Scientology. Tom basically confirmed this during a 2013 deposition, and he revealed that Suri was no longer a practicing member of the church. In the end, Katie won sole custody of their daughter, in a ruling that reportedly stated that she would not be exposed to anything Scientology related. And to this day, it appears as though the former couple aren't exactly on good terms, as Tom reportedly hasn't seen his daughter in years. Number six, Angelina Jolie and Billy Bob Thornton. The pair met in 1999 on a film set, and they eloped the following year in Las Vegas, shortly after Billy abruptly ended his engagement to Laura Dern. They were only married for three years, but it was definitely a memorable one, because it just garnered so much media attention. In 2001, they were spotted wearing vials of each other's blood, and Angelina got a tattoo of Billy's name on her left arm. While some were a little weirded out by their 20-year age gap and the over-the-top PDA, they did genuinely seem to be infatuated with each other. In 2002, the couple announced that they were adopting their son Maddox from Cambodia, while Billy also had two children from previous relationships. But they would go on to file for divorce that same year, and Angelina sought full custody of Maddox. The divorce was finalized in May of 2003, and after the split, Angelina had the tattoo of his name removed from her arm. It was eventually replaced with the coordinates of her kids and Brad Pitt's birthplaces. Looking back on their marriage, Billy said their time together was really great, but it ended because they just had different lifestyles. Hers is a global lifestyle and his is an agoraphobic lifestyle. He said, that's really the only reason that they're not still together to this day. Number five, John Mayer and Jessica Simpson. If there's one thing that all of Hollywood knows by now, it's that John Mayer is a bit of a playboy. His reputation as a womanizer definitely precedes him. So that's why everyone at one point was really surprised to see him with Jessica Simpson. He raised eyebrows when he used the phrase sexual napalm to describe his romance with her and even compared her to a certain illicit substance that he said he couldn't get enough of. The couple dated for about a year, but they broke up several times throughout their relationship. In fact, sources close to the pair told People magazine that things were always on and off between them and they had arguments constantly. Unfortunately, 2006 marked the year that they decided to finally split up for good. The couple were on vacation in Mexico when photos were snapped of them arguing on the balcony of their room. Jessica looked like she was in tears and it undoubtedly looked like a breakup. News of their split came shortly after their photos were released, meaning there's a good chance that the paparazzi actually captured the moment when Jessica and John called things off. In 2009, she opened up about him in her memoir, Open Book, and said, that was a time in my life where I was very manipulated and also very in love, or seemingly. Number four, Britney Spears and Kevin Federline. Britney's infamous marriage to backup dancer Kevin, also known as K-Fed, was a rocky one that did not end well for either party. The couple first crossed paths in April of 2004 and got married later that year after spending only a few short months together. It's worth noting that at the time, he was expecting his second child 
child with his ex fiance Shah Jackson. The pair eventually welcomed two sons of their own, Jaden and Sean, before Britney filed for divorce in November of 2006. Their relationship was clearly a toxic one, and Britney went into a downward spiral not long after. They reached an initial divorce settlement in March of 2007 and agreed to share custody of their children. A lot has happened in the years since their separation, and these days there seems to be a pretty big rift in the family. Britney went on to marry Iranian actor Sam Asghari, although her two sons were not present at her wedding. It's been reported that she hasn't seen them for over a year. Kevin has since reached out to her lawyer to discuss the possibility of allowing them to permanently relocate to Hawaii, along with their stepmother Victoria Prince. According to inside sources, they are expecting to receive a response from Britney before the week's end, and it's likely that the judge will grant the request. Number 3 Demi Moore and Ashton Kutcher These two called it quits in 2011 after 6 years of marriage, but their relationship is still a hot topic among fans. The Golden Globe nominee and the star of that 70s show began dating in 2003, and they tied the knot 2 years later. The Hollywood power couple quickly became known for their 15 year age difference. When asked about the age gap in an interview, Demi said, He was 25, I was 40, but I'm telling you we couldn't feel it. However, things came to an end in 2011 when Demi caught him cheating on their 6th wedding anniversary. He was with his mistress Sarah Leal in a thousand dollar suite at the San Diego Hard Rock Hotel. Demi ultimately found out about the affair when she received a Google alert on her phone. The alert displayed an article where Sarah shared her intimate interactions with Ashton that took place that same year. She was barely able to breathe and decided to call him and ask him if it was true. She then claimed he immediately admitted to everything. The couple filed for divorce in 2013 and Ashton ended up marrying his past castmate Mila Kunis, while Demi moved on with Daniel Hum, although they would eventually split after less than a year of dating. Number 2 Khloe Kardashian and Lamar Odom These two tied the knot exactly one month after they met at a party for one of Lamar's teammates in September of 2009. At first the couple were on top of the world, and they even got their own reality series called Khloe and Lamar, which ran from 2011 to 2012. But their romance quickly came to an end in 2013, when Khloe officially filed for divorce. Their relationship ultimately fell apart due to Lamar's addiction struggles and rumoured infidelity. Relatively soon into the marriage, it was revealed that not only did Lamar have a serious substance misuse problem, but he also admitted to being with countless other women during their relationship. The divorce came shortly after he was found unconscious in a brothel. According to Lamar, his behaviour came down to the pressure of dating a Kardashian. He said, When I became Khloe Kardashian's man on TV, it made me look more enticing. As a result, apparently all these women came out of the woodwork looking to get with him. In the end, he said, If there is one thing I regret when I was married, it was having multiple affairs with different women. That wasn't the stand up thing to do. I wish I could have kept my D in my pants. And coming in at number one, Rihanna and Chris Brown. These two were once the music industry's hottest young couple at the height of their romance. The two met as teenagers in 2005 while starting off in the music industry, and it was from that initial meeting that they continued to cross paths. In 2008, it was revealed that they were officially dating, and all seemed to be going well until their explosive argument the night before the Grammys, where Chris violently attacked Rihanna, leaving her bruised and battered. He was then arrested and charged with felony battery, while Rihanna took out a restraining order against him. They initially broke up, but after years of apologizing and attempting to get his career back on track, it seemed as though he was forgiven. Soon enough, the two of them were seen hanging out together again and going to basketball games. Now, a lot of people didn't understand this and even became offended by their reunion. It didn't make sense that she would want to be around Chris ever again. Of course, fans were still frustrated with what was happening. Many expressed concern for her safety, which was valid, but at the same time, no one really knows the full story about a relationship that they are not in. Eventually, Rihanna and Chris decided that they were done with the relationship and they both moved on with new partners. Number 10 Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck Back in July, the couple tied the knot in Las Vegas. Fans know that Ben and Jen have had an off again, on again romance that's been going on since the 2000s. Despite planning to marry in 2003, they ended up calling it off just days before the wedding and said that the excessive media attention had taken a toll on their romance. Then, almost 20 years later, they got back together. So it seems like they were meant to be together. But of course, not everyone thinks so. Ever since Ben's miserable appearance at this year's Grammys, the couple have been seen arguing in public many times. In a clip that quickly went viral on TikTok, they were at a movie premiere together when they got into another argument. Jaylo appears to taste Ben's drink and then looks at him sternly. She seems visibly fed up with him while he tries to defend himself and repeatedly says Jen. He could also be heard yelling over the 
music saying that he did not drink anything. It's because of these moments that fans just don't think that they are a good match. Fans were especially outraged with Ben in 2021. The comments he said about his ex-wife Jennifer Garner on the Howard Stern show. He said he felt trapped during his marriage and that was a part of the reason why he started drinking. When you look at his choice of words, it's easy to see why people thought he was attacking his ex. Number 9 Kim Kardashian and Kanye West These two were one of the most hated couples in the almost 7 years that they were together. They took their relationship public in the spring of 2012 and after that it was mayhem. While they were together, Kim and Kanye had more than their fair share of cringy couple moments. Everyone remembers the music video for Bound 2 because it left a lot of people feeling uncomfortable. During the video, Kanye rides a motorcycle through the desert and he's joined by Kim who is completely naked. And in every single shot, they're either kissing or caressing each other, which is nearly impossible to watch without cringing. While the relationship was messy, their divorce was even messier. When Kim moved on with Pete Davidson, Kanye was extremely threatened. One of the things he did to mess with Pete was he posted a photo of a fake New York Times cover on Instagram with the headline reading, Skeet Davidson is dead at 28. Then he made a social media post saying, hold your spouse close to make sure they know how much you love and appreciate them because there is a skeet lurking in every dirty alleyway waiting to help destroy your family and walk around in Calvin jeans around your children. So after the divorce, it seemed like Kanye was set out to ruin Kim's love life. Number 8 Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith The couple often paint their love story as one for the ages, but they have definitely tried to gloss over the fact that their relationship began when Will was still technically married to his first wife, Cherie Zampino. In fact, Jada let this information slip voluntarily in a 2018 interview with Access, admitting that when Will first reached out to her, he wasn't exactly fully free to do so. The couple has since maintained that they weren't physically involved until the divorce was finalized, but many fans believe that Will's heart had certainly strayed well before he made any move to end things with Cherie. Ironically, that wasn't the only instance of cheating that reflected poorly on the couple. In July of 2020, August Asliner shocked the world when he revealed that he was romantically involved with Jada and Will knew about it the whole time. At first, Jada denied the claims, but she eventually confessed to being in an entanglement with August when she and her husband were separated. At that moment, the two of them decided to go to the Red Table Talk together and aired out all of their dirty laundry. In a heartbreaking episode, Will broke down in tears in front of his wife while she confessed to the affair. That video forever changed the way that fans viewed their relationship. Number 7 Scott Distick and Sophia Ritchie Fans used to love Scott's quick-witted, snarky humor. He was something of a fan favorite on Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Of course, it was partly because of his relationship to Courtney that he became so popular in the first place. But throughout the show, it became blaringly obvious that he had trouble remaining committed to her. So when he left her for Sophia Ritchie, fans turned against him for good. Not only was she only 18 years old, but she'd also been a friend of the Kardashians for years. So naturally, the whole family was against them too, including Kendall, who left a shady comment on one of Scott's Instagram posts. Even Sophia's dad, Lionel Richie, was not too happy with the 16-year age difference. At one point, he said, She's 19. When you're 19, you know everything. Is it going to be for life? I don't know. But for right now, it's just a phase. Despite the backlash, they stayed together for nearly three years, and Sophia even went on the show at one point. It was an awkward mess because Scott was still co-parenting his three kids with Courtney, and she was obviously not too happy with this new relationship. If anything, most people felt bad for her because she had to deal with so much after their separation. Number 6 Khloe Kardashian and Tristan Thompson This couple was never very popular with fans, and there was quite a few reasons for that. But the controversy surrounding their relationship came to a head in 2018, when photos of Tristan having an affair surfaced online while he was dating Khloe. To make matters worse, she was 9 months pregnant at the time. Not long after, TMZ came out with video footage dating back to October of 2017 that showed the NBA player kissing two other random women at a club. At first, they decided to stay together for the birth of their child, but things did not stay smooth forever. In 2019, reports surfaced that Tristan had cheated on her once again, this time with none other than Jordan Woods, who was a close friend of the family and Kylie Jenner's best friend and roommate. Anonymous party attendees told TMZ that the two of them were all over each other and made out several times throughout the night. The explosive incident almost broke up the family entirely, and as a result, multiple relationships were ruined. Although Chloe was the victim in the situation, not everyone felt sorry for her. Some believe that she was the one who took Tristan Thompson away from his ex girlfriend Jordan Craig, who was also pregnant at the time. So sometimes how you get them is how you lose them. 
Number 5 John Legend and Chrissy Teigen These two seem to have a romance for the ages and their relationship has really stood the test of time. But the couple lost quite a lot of fans in the wake of Chrissy's infamous bullying scandal. In recent years many celebrities have come forward to accuse her of being extremely cruel online. These include stars like Courtney Stoden, Lindsay Lohan, Farah Abraham and Project Runway star Michael Costello. Her behaviour was apparently so horrible that at one point she allegedly told Courtney to take her own life in 2011. And Chrissy only backpedaled on her comments when she was called out for them. So she seemed to be a true mean girl. While speaking out about the incident, Chrissy claimed that she was being an insecure, attention seeking troll. But later, evidence came out that she had also bullied little children. When talking about a 9 year old, she said in a 2013 tweet, quote, Is it okay to call a small child cocky? Around the same time, a shocking video resurfaced from when she was hosting the Billboard Music Awards in May of 2015. In this clip, you can see Chrissy making her way to the stage when a woman trips over her gown and falls in front of her. Instead of stopping to help the woman up or even check to see if she was okay, Chrissy just keeps walking up to the stage. Number 4 Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott These two have never been the most popular couple but it seemed like everyone had an opinion about their relationship when Travis was exposed for cheating. Up until a certain point it was only speculation but his alleged ex Instagram model Regine Carr came forward. She shared proof of herself on the same set as Travis Travis on her Instagram stories recently. These accusations would have probably flown under the radar if Travis had not spoken up and made the whole thing so much worse. He tried to defend himself and said, an uninvited person was sneaking photos on what was supposed to be a closed set while I was directing a video. I don't know this person, I've never been with this person. In response, Regine fired back and said, what we're not going to do is we're not going to lie. I pretended I didn't know you, went along with whatever effing narrative, no matter how much BS I got from it. But to say you don't know me and you've never been with me, when you've definitely been with me, when everyone's seen you with me, when I have pictures and videos of you with me. She went on to claim that Travis cheats on Kylie every single night and the whole city sees it happening. At that point there was almost no point in him trying to deny it because most people believed what she was saying. Number 3 Sandra Bullock and Jesse James These two married in 2005 and throughout the first few years of their marriage they looked happier than ever as they attended red carpets together. On the outside Jesse seemed supportive of his success wife, especially when she won countless awards thanks to her incredible talents as an actress. But it was soon uncovered that he had been cheating on Sandra for a long time with multiple women, which led him to become, by his own admission, the most hated man in the world. He eventually checked into rehab for sex addiction and Sandra filed for divorce in 2010. Jesse took accountability for his actions at the time and released a statement saying, there is only one person to blame for this whole situation and that is me. It's because of my poor judgement that I deserve everything bad that is coming my way. But in an interview 7 years later, he said that he had no regrets about the affair and said, yeah, I did cheat on my wife. Yeah, I stood up and took accountability for it and apologized. And that's the end of the story. In general, both women and men cheat, it's part of life. So obviously it seemed like he didn't completely acknowledge his role in the downfall of their marriage and had no real shame or guilt about his deplorable actions. Number 2 King Charles and Queen Camilla Britain's new reigning monarch and queen consort have gone to great efforts to repair their public image over the past couple of years. For the most part they have been successful but they're still leagues away from being the most popular royal couple and that's for a very good reason. Back in the 90s they were embroiled in one of the biggest scandals to rock the royal family. Charles was infamously caught cheating on the beloved princess Diana and his years long affair with Camilla was exposed for the world to see. A transcript of their salacious phone call was leaked to the press and it made the headlines for weeks. For the royal family it was the ultimate embarrassment. Their conversation was essentially phone sex. At one point Charles told Camilla, oh god I'll just live inside your trousers or something. It would be much easier. To which Camilla says, what are you going to do, turn into a pair of knickers? And he says, oh god forbid, a Tampax. Unsurprisingly the fallout from this conversation destroyed not one but two marriages. It broke up Camilla's 20 year marriage to Andrew Parker Bowles and publicly humiliated her husband and children. It also played a major role in Charles and Diana's divorce which would come only a few years later. Yeah. And coming in at number 1, Courtney Love and Kurt Cobain. This infamous couple was the very definition of a bad romance. The destructive nature of their relationship was played out in the tabloids for years. Even major publications couldn't resist writing about their exploits. The timeline of their romance was incredibly fast. They got married in 1992 after only 4 months of dating. By that point Courtney was already pregnant with their daughter Frances Bean. What's really interesting is that on paper these two artists were very similar. They were both grunge music 
icons who dabbled in hard partying and substance use. But the public had an extremely different perception of both of them. Even in their early days, Kurt was labeled a hero and a rock icon, while Courtney was vilified. She was dubbed an addict, a terrible mother, and almost constantly poorly behaved public figure. That's part of the reason why Nirvana fans hated them together. They viewed her as both opportunistic and out of control. And this sentiment only got worse when Kurt took his own life in 1994. Whether or not you agree with this characterization, Courtney has always been a force of nature, and consequently a divisive figure in pop culture. Since carving out her career as a grunge musician with a cult following, she's persisted as a party girl icon for the better part of nearly three decades. Number 10, Harry Styles and Olivia Wilde. These guys were arguably one of the most unpopular celebrity couples in recent times. They met on the set of the movie Don't Worry Darling, which Olivia directed. Harry joined the cast in the fall of 2020, and by January of 2021, the two of them were spotted holding hands at a wedding, which naturally caused everyone to lose their minds. Some say that the reason they split up was simply down to scheduling conflicts and the fact that they didn't want to have a long distance relationship. But realistically, Olivia was getting a lot of hate from Harry's fans. They didn't like the fact that she was 10 years older than him and had two kids. People also thought it was a little problematic that they met while she was a director and he was an actor, because that means there could have been some kind of a power imbalance. Some people also pointed to the fact that she moved on way too quickly after breaking up with her ex fiance and the father of her children, Jason Sudeikis. It was later alleged that she cheated on Jason with Harry, although this is a narrative that she's had to continually deny. While they were together, almost everything about their relationship was scrutinized. For instance, when Olivia and Harry turned up to the Venice Film Festival separately for the premiere of Don't Worry Darling, fans took it as a sign that they were no longer together, and they started celebrating their breakup months before it actually happened. Number 9, Megan Fox and MGK. The couple first met in March of 2020, while they were in Puerto Rico on the set of the film Midnight in the Switchgrass. Almost right away, they became known for their over-the-top PDA and also their cringy Instagram posts. In fact, their social media presence as a couple is so intense that people have said that they give off high school band kids after one week of dating vibes. Megan sent the internet into a collective frenzy during the 2021 MTV Video Music Awards while she was presenting alongside Kourtney Kardashian. Both women introduced their respective boyfriends, Machine Gun Kelly and Travis Barker, ahead of their performance. Megan said, I'm a huge fan of this next performer. I've watched him grow not just as an artist, but as a person. New York, I need you to get extra loud for our future baby daddies. Throughout the evening, she constantly referred to him as daddy and it just got a little too much for people. Then in a recent interview with Glamour, Megan confirmed that the two of them drink each other's blood. She said, it's just a few drops, but yes, we do consume each other's blood on occasion for ritual purposes only. The response to this interview was hilarious because it was just so ridiculous. But these two definitely suited each other very well. Number eight, Pete Davidson and Kim Kardashian. Fans were beyond shocked when these two were seen holding hands on a roller coaster in October of 2021. They met on the set of Saturday Night Live. Kim later said that she felt a spark when they shared a kiss during their Aladdin comedy sketch. But people really began cringing at their relationship when she started spilling a little too many details of their sex life. She confirmed that he does in fact have big D energy, and that made everyone a little uncomfortable. Then there were also the tattoos. Fans thought it was a huge red flag that Pete got tattoos of Kim and all of her four children. Now that they've broken up, it seems like it was a poorly thought out permanent decision. One of the tattoos said, my girl is a lawyer, which he got to celebrate her passing the baby bar. He also got the names Aladdin and Jasmine with an infinity symbol between them, which is a reference to their first kiss. But one of the biggest complications of their relationship was her ex Kanye West. For some reason, he made it his mission to make Pete's life a living hell. And at that point, literally everyone felt so bad for him. Number seven, Billie Eilish and Jesse Rutherford. When it was announced that these two became an item in mid-October, fans were shocked to say the least. The couple were spotted holding hands at a Halloween horror night. Days later, they were photographed publicly making out outside a popular restaurant in LA. Concerns were raised almost immediately around their age difference. If you didn't know, Billy is 20 years old while Jesse is 31. This got worse when photos were leaked of the couple costume they decided to wear for Halloween. Billy decided to dress up as a baby and Jesse went as an old man. They were probably just poking fun at their age difference, but no one else was in on the joke. It just made a lot of people feel icky about the whole thing. Fans did a bit more digging and realized that Billy and Jesse have known each other since 2017, back when she was 15 and still on the rise as a musician, which means that she was most likely a fan of his band The Neighborhood and was just excited to meet him. The discourse around their relationship calls into question the idea of what's appropriate and what's not when we're talking about age gaps. To this day, some people still think that it's wrong that they're together, while others say it's completely fine because, hey, they're both adults.
results. Number 6 Brooklyn Beckham and Nicola Peltz These two started dating in October of 2019 and they became Instagram official in January of 2020. They got very serious very fast and got engaged less than a year into their romance. These two seem to be just another young stylish Hollywood couple but for some reason the internet has not stopped dragging everything they do. Brooklyn has about 20 tattoos dedicated to his wife and when he revealed his new one on the Jennifer Hudson show it almost seemed like a bad joke. He rolled up his sleeve and revealed that he got a massive portrait of her on his upper arm. It was literally her full face but there was something very off about it. The sketch looked like it had been done by an amateur artist which is very concerning because it's just such a big tattoo. There's also a ton of other reasons why people don't like them but a lot of it comes down to the fact that they just think they don't have any personality despite the fact that they're so famous. But this is probably because they both have famous parents and they haven't really been able to branch out from that on their own. There's nothing really wrong with that of course but some people think that they're just way too boring to make the headlines. Number 5 Justin and Hailey Bieber The two of them first met way back in 2009 when Hailey was introduced to Justin by her father Stephen Baldwin. They would eventually end up getting married several years later but there's a ton of reasons why fans were never happy with this pairing. Throughout the 2010s Justin had been in an off again on again relationship with Selena Gomez and they were one of the most famous A-list couples in the world. Fans were obsessed with them together and it really seemed like a storybook teen romance. So when Hailey eventually came into the picture no one was happy about it. She got engaged to Justin in June of 2018 around one month after he'd broken things off with Selena. This timeline didn't sit right with a lot of people and for years there were rumors circulating that there was infidelity involved. This hate against Hailey Bieber only got worse as the years went on. Some people have even floated the theory that her parents tricked Justin into marrying her. This sounds extremely unlikely but it didn't help that he admitted something similar when he was on the Ellen DeGeneres show in 2020. Obviously he was joking but not everyone thought that. Number 4 John Mulaney and Olivia Munn These two first met a decade ago at a wedding in 2013. At the time when John and Olivia met he was engaged to his eventual wife of 7 years Anna Marie Tendler. John and Olivia began dating in June of 2021 only one month after he split from his wife. News of the split came as a shock to fans because no one saw it coming. John would often mention his wife in his stand up comedy routines and she was a character that his fans came to know and love. As the news broke she released a statement saying I am heartbroken that John has decided to end our marriage. I wish him support and success as he continues his recovery. Less than two months later it was confirmed that Olivia was pregnant with her and John's first child. Whether or not there was any overlap between the two women is still uncertain but his relationship with Olivia has always been heavily criticized for that reason. In early September, Anna reportedly knew he was doing things with other women way before he went to rehab and before they ended their marriage in late 2020. It wasn't entirely clear when this relationship with Olivia started, but it appeared that John was going to great lengths to dispute the idea that he cheated. Number 3 Camila Cabello and Shawn Mendes They started out as friends in 2015 when they were both on tour together and wrote their first duet. Since then, they've both written music about each other on their albums and evolved from best friends to romantic partners. Then, after dating for more than two years, Years, they called it quits in November of 2021. They apparently split due to their hectic work schedules. It has also been said that they grew very close during lockdown but once they resumed their normal work routine their relationship became different. Their careers were taking them in different directions. Apparently they went from spending every single day together to not spending any time together at all. The pop stars revealed that they had broken up with a joint statement they shared on their Instagram pages. They said hey guys we've decided to end our romantic relationship but our love for one another as humans is stronger than ever. Of course some fans were pretty happy with the news because when they first got together there was a lot of speculation that it was just a PR relationship. This was partly due to the excessive PDA that they used to show. Their relationship received a lot of hate and usually it was directed towards the woman. Camilla was not very popular with Sean's fans and unfortunately she was never able to win them over. Number 2 Aaron Taylor Johnson and Sam Taylor Johnson These days more and more people are focusing on their relationship and pointing out all the ways that it's seriously problematic. In 2009 Sam announced her engagement to Aaron who's 23 years younger than her. According to the Daily Mail the two met on the set of Nowhere Boy where Sam was the director. When talking about the age gap the actor told Man's Health in a 2014 interview that she's such a young beautiful soul that you wouldn't even know. The only thing that had fans slightly concerned is the timeline of when they met. The Hollywood Reporter said that he was 18 and she was 41 at the time. Fans have speculated that she knew the actor when he was younger because he was a family friend. But these claims appear to be baseless. Aaron said, When I first met Sam, I'd already lived a life far beyond that of most of my contemporaries. I didn't relate to anyone my age. I just felt like we're on the same wavelength. For her part, Sam said, 
we had this intense connection. He was very intense and absolutely mind made up. Still, there's no denying that he was a literal teenager when they first started dating. So no matter which way you look at it, it's just kind of creepy. And coming in at number one, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. These guys are easily one of the most hated couples right now. They first met in London in the summer of 2016 after they were set up by a mutual friend. They got married in May of 2018 and then only two years later in 2020, they announced on Instagram their decision to step back as senior members of the British royal family. This news sent shockwaves around the world and greatly impacted the public's opinion of the couple. Of course, a lot of the blame was placed on Meghan, who was accused of tearing Harry away from his family. Since their exit, they have taken part in a series of media projects, which seemed to target the monarchy. They got a ton of criticism after the release of their Netflix series, and a lot of it comes down to the apparent hypocrisy surrounding their decision to leave the royal family in pursuit of a reclusive life away from it all. The series again pushes the idea of excessive media intrusion into their lives, with multiple clips of the couple being pursued by crowds of paparazzi. And so people felt that the added publicity and attention they're getting from the documentary was completely at odds with their reason for leaving the UK and abandoning their royal duties. In fact, they've received so much backlash for this that they had to release a statement claiming that they never actually wanted privacy in the first place.